Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now today's video is kind of an explanation video um, of what I've been talking about in the last like two to three weeks. And as you can tell by the title, it is the no spend challenge. So if this is a video that you want to watch, then please stay tuned. Okay guys, so basically what I'm gonna talk about first is what the no spend challenge is and then I'm going to go into different things so the no spend challenge is where you have your total income coming in for your household you then uh, work out your priority bills and how much they are and your non priority so stuff that you can live without so at the end of that you know exactly where your money's going for your priority bills and what money you can put in savings or do with what you want to do that is what I've picked up from doing the no spend challenge in like a really quick synopsis. <laughs> it is a quick uh, kind of like opinion thing. Um, I'm not good to be these big words today guys so I'm really really sorry. But yeah so the reasons why I've decided to do the no spend challenge. Um, the first one is because my ex-partner has left me with a little bit of debt so I want to pay the debt off qu as quickly as I can each month so I don't have to worry about it and I can build my credit score credit file up as well. Now the second thing um, I will be doing a video in a couple of weeks down the line to talk about this more in depth but there's been a lot of things happening in the last couple of months and that, that has made me really want a fresh start for me and my children so I want to save that money so that we can have a fresh start somewhere, get a different property and it'll just be me and my kids. No interfering, no bullsh bullshitting, sorry about the swearing, but it's going to be a completely fresh start for me and the children, which I think is good for the, for all of us. So, we're going to talk about my budget now. I will have it written down either down here or this side, depending way. But my total income for the month is £1,300. That is the total income that comes into this household. So, £1,300 across there. And these are my priority bills, which I've written down, so I will be glancing. So, my rent is £365 per month. We've got council tax, which is £70 a month. We got food, which is two fifty, and that two fifty is not just for the one chunk. That that two fifty is the last of the whole month. So what I tend to do is I tend to do kind of like a big shot, which is a, a hundred, hundred and twenty pounds, and then every week then is like twenty to thirty. I always try and keep under the two fifty budget. Sometimes I spend more, sometimes I spend less, but as long as I stay in the two fifty. It is fine. Then we've got water rates, which is £27 a month, TV license, which is 32 household, which is 150 and that is kind of cleaning stuff for the kids, um, clothes, shoes, everything is combined into that. We've then got pets, which is £40 a month, and then we've got miscellaneous, which is 50 Um, and that basically is um going out, days out, different stuff like that. Okay guys, so sorry, my phone cut out then and I quickly needed to work out because I thought I'd miscalculated. But as I said, the total income is 1300. When all that is added up, it comes to 924 pounds. So that means we've got 380 pounds left each month. Now, what I've done is I've got my savings for the, the, the new start, um, I, I'm going to put £100 in there, I'm going to put £100 into my extra debts to pay off quicker, and the extra money is going to kind of go into an emergency fund, so if anything breaks down or we need anything, we've got the money there and then. Um, that includes if like shoot, the girl's shoes break from school or different things like that kind of that is the emergency and I haven't really budgeted for I've always got the emergency fund here then that I can deal with what I've said kind of my budget is probably going to be a little bit cheaper than what you you've got I've got special circumstances because I am a single mum and where I live in Wales um, they've 
lowered it down for some strange reason so your budget can vary on different aspects of what i said and the 250 might not for like for instance the food that might not do your family you can might do it on less you might do it on more but always adapt the budgets to you and work out specifically to, to your family um so that is the overall plan of my budget for the monthly and what i'm going to do with it I am going to be doing the no spend challenge for three months. So I've started on the 1st of May. So it'd be going to July or August. Probably August because that would be three months, wouldn't it? May, June, July, August. Yeah. Um, after the three months is up, I'm not necessarily sure if I'm going to stop or if I'm going to continue. But for now, I've just put three months and we'll see how it goes. Depending. Um depending kind of how much we save up and different things like that but what I've worked out is in three months I could save a minimum of £400 that's by putting extra money in because like I say I've got that 380 so if I put more than £100 away obviously it's going to equal to more but in hindsight the minimum would be 300 because £100 for the month but I'm aiming to try and get it between three to 400 and any like say coins I've got um I put in jars which I will leave up above the how I save money and that's cut some other little ideas for you guys but that that is literally um the no spend challenge kind of my thoughts on it my interpretation of it um and like I said you guys know the reason why I started the no spend challenge and I will be doing kind of a month update video at the end of every month to say to see exactly if we stuck in budget if we've gone under if we've gone over if we slap bang in the middle any money i put away what we've done with it all different kinds of things like that so and i thought i would document this journey because i'm, I'm not perfect with money i'm not saying i'm an angel i don't always budget i don't always meal plan all those kind of things but I definitely notice the difference when I do and I've made a conscious effort that I'm going to start meal planning um and different things like that and because I really do need to kind of buckle down and stuff like that it's going to be hard because we've got Belle's birthday in September Tilly's birthday in December Christmas but that that's why I'm thinking of using the emergency fund so to speak for that I do have park vouchers which is another way I do save so um I will definitely be using them if you guys want I will do a video and I'll leave that down below um in the description box about that if you guys want me to do that video then like I said the uh give it a thumbs up and I will record that video ASAP for you guys but I'm just going to stop rumbling on now because I've rumbled for literally a couple four minutes but if you like this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button and click on the bell notifications. As not only does it, it helps my, my videos, but it means the absolute world to me that you enjoy these kind of videos. And with you being subscribed, obviously you can stay in track, in tune with mine and the girls. Wonderful but crazy and chaotic life. I will be doing a lot more different videos now because I have got my tripod back up and running. So there's going to be loads of different videos on this channel coming up very soon. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.